What's up guys, Kelv here, and today I got a video from um, a user, another user on YouTube named Jimmy6636, you probably heard of him already, but he did a video on uh, easy, um, easiest way to install DB files from Cydia, and um, I saw this and I just wanted to pass it along, and this is using iFile from Cydia, and it's way easier than using the mobile terminal terminal where you have to like type in some code like su and then dpkg dash something 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 and all that but it's easier than app cake too that was a uh, good for a little bit but then it started like going downhill started getting bad but I uh, just wanted to get this video out to my viewers all right so what you're going to want to do first is, and I'll have his link to his channel in the description and uh, that forum that I just showed, but I'll show you that in a minute. But what you're going to want to do first is go into Cydia. And I'll show you my tabs on Cydia in just a second. Oh yeah, look at them. You know you like that. I can see you right now. You know you like that. Quit smiling. No, I'm just playing. But anyways, once this loads up, I got it turned off to where it don't load up. Let me see what the name of it's called. Oh, I might not do it. Whatever. Forget it. But anyways, there it goes. It's called No Cyfresh. It's for SP settings. But anyways, go to Manage, and then you're going to go to Sources, and right here is a couple of them be your iPhone uh, sinful let's see what's some more Podulo and VN magic there are a couple of them that you can use I'll have the repo source in the description to the right but go over here to search and type in yeah type in Safari and once you do that scroll down and once you see Safari Download Manager, uh, install one of them. Um, if you want to pay for it, install the one that's blue, the big boss. But uh, the ones that I would tell you to download would be Podulo or the one from Sinful and or the one for, um, from VN Magic. But that's the one I have uh, installed. So. Either the two that I would go for would be Sinful or Podulo. But anyways, go once you install that, go back up here to the top and install iFile. And scroll down. Well, I guess I didn't type it in right. iFile. Click search. Alright, so once you bring these up, um... You, once again, you can install the one from Podulo or Sinful. Go for one of them too, or be your iPhone. That's just a different. It's in a different version. Um, but yeah, once you install that, um, go back, click back into Home, and then find you a DB file that you want. Um, I already have one, so I'm gonna go to it right now. And this is the form that I was talking about. I'll have a link to it in the right over there. But uh, go join it. My name on there is Caleb from Tech World. If you can see that right there. But I'm going to go to where I have the DB file. Uh, let's see. Global and Moderator. I think that's where I put it. Yeah. Just testing this out. Click on that. And once I do that, I'm going to be downloading five column springboard. And I'll just click on mega upload. And if you want this D DEB file, it was uploaded by me, so you can trust it. Um, no viruses. So let's type in this code, UWH6 and click download file once you do that it will bring you to another page 
and you'll probably have to wait for it to load and yes and I'll just cut this part out alright so once it's done downloading click on regular download and it's probably gonna open up a new tab no here it goes if it brings this up right here you're gonna wanna click on download this is where Safari download manager comes in it'll you'll see that new thing let's see that right there the one that looks like an arrow pointing down you'll click on that and it'll bring you to this right here and um you can just once you do that you can just click done up here in the top left and close out of that and then go into your iFile it'll look something like this like a finder icon there it goes uh, you'll you'll click into that and once that opens up you'll see down here in the bottom a little settings click on that and then you're gonna wanna make sure your hidden files are on if they're not just turn them on and then close out and go back in it and you should be fine then but once you do that you're gonna wanna go all the way back until you get to the little root menu which will like a little slash like that and you're gonna wanna go down here to var and then you're gonna wanna go to mobile library and then downloads and you'll see it right here it'll be whatever the name of your file is dot deb click on that and then you'll get this right here zip viewer or installer installer and then once you do that it'll install it and it'll say finished with result code blah 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 click done up here in the top and then you can uh, exit back out of that and now I'm just gonna respring and this is called SP settings if you didn't know what it is alright so once you get this you will slide to unlock alright so you'll notice that let's see I'm going to move my stacks up here you'll notice that I have five right here if you can tell uh, there's two blank ones in between that so one two three four five let me just move them blank ones out of the way see now you can see one two three four five and let me move my stack back real quick and just like a regular file you will go back into Cydia go down here and manage and then go to let me zoom out go back to packages and then go let's see 5f and then you'll see it right here five column springboard or whatever you had installed and then you can just remove it from here so um, yeah that was an easier way to install deb files or deb files however you want to call it don't really matter but way easier than app cake or the mobile terminal installing it like that so go check out Jim over there I have his Twitter and I'll have the forum come check out the forum um, I'll have his YouTube over there and go subscribe to him he, he makes really good videos and don't forget to rate comment and subscribe to my videos to know when I make new videos or whatever and uh, so yeah that it's Caleb and I'm checking out and peace.